This week on Let's Fish TV, I'm out here on Wilson Lake. Wilson Lake is located between Lake Wheeler and Pickwick Lake along the Tennessee River. This northern Alabama jewel of a lake is probably one of the most world-renowned lakes because of its Wheeler Dam. The way the river flows, it actually flows down river from east to west. And I'm telling you one thing, this lake has big bass. Today we're going to be targeting fish around marinas, and I can't wait to show you what happens. Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That is a fish. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> it's time for the only program that brings you real time fishing reports from the Southeast region every week. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Woo. This is Let's Fish. This week on Let's Fish TV, Join me, Andrew Upshaw. I'm out here on Wilson Lake. Wilson Lake's about 15,000 acres. And if you look from Florence, Alabama, all the way to the Wheeler Dam, it's about 15 miles long. And it has a few larger creeks that come north and south. This lake actually runs east to west, and that's exactly the direction the current flows on the Tennessee River. It flows from east to west, and it has a lot of swift water. The Wheeler Dam, which is on the upstream side, is probably one of the most world-renowned dams in the country and mainly because of all the nice fish that gets caught there. From bass to sauger and other types of fish, you can catch them year-round below that dam. Today we're not going to be targeting the dam, we're actually going to be targeting fish in the shad spawn around marinas and seawalls fishing uh, thunder crickets and poppers. You know that's one of my favorite ways to fish. If you've ever watched me before you know that is one of my favorite ways to catch them. Today we're definitely going to catch them. We'll also have this week's fishing report from your local region from our insider reporter. I'm going to go ahead and get this boat launched though. Get it set up. I've got to get out there and catch them. In the meantime I'm going to toss it back to the studio for the, your weekend planner. Hi there. These salooner tables are predicting good game fish activity on Saturday and fair activity on Sunday. Peak game fish activity begins midday around 11.18 Saturday and 12.03 Sunday. Prime nighttime activity will begin around 11.38 on Saturday and midnight Sunday. Depending on your location, expect the sun to rise around 7.04 and set around 5.25. Look for a full moon this weekend to help illuminate those nighttime fishing spots. We'll be right back to check all of the current fishing reports from throughout the area, and I will return with Bass Master Elite Angler Drew Benton on this week's Ask the Pro feature. Stick with us. All right, guys, today we're on Wilson Lake, and as you can tell, we have an overcast morning. You know, this is going to make these fish bite extremely well first thing this morning. It's supposed to clear up this afternoon, going to get sunny. I think we're going to catch them pretty good today. Wilson Lake is located between Wheeler and Pickwick and it has a lot of big bass in it. And I know we're gonna capitalize on those big big bass. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and toss a commercial break and we're gonna head out there and go catch us a few of those big bass. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lose, feel the difference. Waypoint Customs, customize your boat your way. Strike King, tie one on. Glacier Glove, stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats, and shades. Fishing Specialties, makers of the premier mount assembly for live sonar. Oh, big one, big one. Oh my gosh. There we go, guys. That's the way we start off the morning here. Oh, big one, big one. Oh my gosh. There we go, guys. That's the way we start off the morning here. Wilson Lake. Oh, I barely got him. Stay down. There we go. There we go. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about, fellas. Look at the size of that one. Ate that Thunder Cricket. You know, I know y'all have seen me do the Thunder Cricket shows before, but, and this is what you're gonna catch. Wilson Lake is located between Wheeler and Pickwick on the Tennessee River. And guys, this is just an average type bass that you're gonna catch on Wilson. And I'm telling you guys, they grow big here. 
You know, the, I actually fished a tournament on Pickwick recently and caught a seven pound, four ounce bass. And they catch that size bass and bigger here on Wilson all the time. You know, this morning we got some cloudy uh, skies. This afternoon it's supposed to get a little bit sunnier and probably get a little bit tougher. So this morning we're really working hard with that vibrating jig and skipping it in and around these docks. And these are the kind of bass that you're gonna catch when you do that. Hey y'all, it's time to get that Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia coastal fishing report. But first, this segment's brought to you by me, Captain Patrick with Ugly Fishing. Uh, you can check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, you name it. Just go check it out, give me a follow, check out my uh, content there. I appreciate y'all doing that. We've got a new contributor this week, Brandon Carter from Coastal Mississippi. He said he's seen a major change in his fishery with many species of fish like speckled trout, white trout, sheephead, redfish, and flounder all moving into deeper areas. He said targeting those fish with uh, live pogies and live shrimp on Carolina rigs in the deeper areas and the reefs in, uh, in that bay system is, uh, is really, is really going to produce well for you on into the winter time. Uh, Brandon's running rough water charters and his boat's docked at Shaggy's in past Christian. So if y'all need a trip down there in coastal Mississippi, give Brandon a call and I'm sure he can put y'all on some fish. Here in Alabama, the, the bite's been pretty good on speckled trout, redfish, and sheephead. I've been looking for speckled trout in shallower water, 10 feet or less. Uh, these fish, are we're catching them on, on popping cork with shrimp imitations, popping cork with live shrimp if you would like to go that route. In addition to the speckled trout bite in our area, the redfish bite's been really good. Those fish are hungry and ready to eat just about anything that swims, just like the speckled trout. So swim baits, uh, popping cork and shrimp, all of those are, are good effective methods. The last thing that we've been catching around here in good numbers is sheephead, fiddler crabs and live shrimp around hard structure. Anything, any structure say from about four feet deep down to probably 10 to 15 feet deep has been my target. Over in Savannah, Georgia, my friend Marion Harkle Road said that the water temperatures have dropped below 60 and the redfish bite is really getting strong. He said probably the best best redfish bite he's seen in years. He said the trout fishing is really getting good as well and the fish should continue to get bigger as the water temperatures get colder. Also if you want to carry some live bait like fiddler crabs or, or uh, live shrimp catching black drum and sheephead there in Savannah. Thank y'all for tuning in for this week's segment and remember what my friends from Speckle Truth say keep what you need and leave the rest. God bless guys. Ooh, another good one. There we go. And just like that, guys, look at that. The size of that one. Another nice uh, Wilson Lake bass. You know, we're right here by Pickwick, so it's really confusing. I mean, we're literally a stone's throw over the dam from Lake Pickwick. So that's what's so cool is that, hey, if the fish aren't biting on Wilson, you can just roll them down to Pickwick and literally cross the dam, go through the lock system of the Tennessee River, and catch more bass but today nice bass just like this one are biting and i'm gonna tell you right now there's nothing better than a good thunder cricket bite you know the thing is you have to keep and it's a little tip for you other than just getting up there early you gotta have baits that look like shad so a white swim jig like a, a strike king tour grade swim jig with either a swim bait or a, a rage bug um, a top water is a great option, a pop and perch, a lot of different things, but the, the big thing there is they all need to be white in color, white and sartreuse, something that imitates a shad. But guys, that is what Wilson Lake is all about right there. And man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gotta, gotta get this thing back so I can catch some more because it's getting on fire right now. Oh, there we go, fellas. Did you catch nice ones like that? Look at that, another good one. Another good one. Oh, there we go, fellas. Did you catch nice ones like that? Look at that. Another good one. Golly, man, you can't beat the Thunder Cricket. Getting out here early. 
You know, that's one thing about fishing that a lot of time I don't think we take, you know, take advantage of is we don't get out there early enough. The early bird gets the worm. We've heard this saying nine times out of 10, and most of the times we don't take advantage of it. These bass feed early in the morning and they feed late at night. You know, this evening, we're actually gonna probably throw a popper around, try to catch a couple big ones that way. The number one bait that I pick up very first is a spinner bait, a tour grade spinner bait, half ounce in size, white. And at that point, that's if I'm not catching bass on the spinner bait, that's when I'll switch up to the Thunder Cricket, the Swim Jig, things like that. But today, I just wanted to show you what fishing the docks was all about. And this is the kind of bass that you're gonna catch when fishing those docks. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama report. It's brought to you by the fine folks over in Paris, Tennessee. Uh, experience Paris is their motto, and it's also my challenge to you. If you like the outdoors, if you like to experience a part of the world where nature is on full display, Paris, Tennessee, Paris Landing, Henry County is the place to be. Jump online and Google Experience Paris and find out everything they have to offer. Hey, it is getting close to winter. Uh, we're getting close to the end of our reports, but before we do, I got a couple more chances to tell you about great places to go fish. Um, right now in Mississippi, it's Lake Aberdeen. Lots of good bass being caught. They're, fish they're catching them on shallow cover, uh, spinnerbait, square bills, it's sloughs, backwaters, look for bait, look for shad, and flip a Texas rig Strike King soft plastic around too while you're at it. Uh, in Alabama, well, let's go to Lay Lake. Special place, great time of year to be there. You can pick up that spinnerbait, swim jig, lipless crankbait, and get in the back flat pockets of those big creeks, or you can get out on the main lake, look at points, look for current. You can throw a uh, Strike King Series 5 crankbait, you can catch them on a square bill. A lot of fun there right now. A rage swimmer on a, on a squadron head is off the charts also. And then in Tennessee, going to Percy Priest, right in the middle of Nashville. A very overlooked lake that is full of really good fish. The smallmouth are biting. All the tournaments are taking big sacks of smallmouth right now. And you can catch them waking a bait really slowly. Uh, you can catch them walking a sexy dog. You can catch them throwing a jig and it's getting closer and closer all the time to that, uh, uh, that Alabama rig bite, that's so much fun. So, a lot of good places to catch them, a lot of uh, good opportunities to be on the water when there's not a lot of other boats. So, just come on, let's have some fun. See ya, God bless you. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh gosh, that's a, that's a good, ooh. Stay down, stay down. Another <laughs> look at the size of that one. Ate that new tour grade spinner bait. You know, that tour grade spinner bait is a great way to find these bass. You know, that's what I actually use as my first bait when finding these dock bass is a spinner bait because those shad will hit the blade. And, and, and that's how I found it. My, my spinner bait was getting hit a lot. It was going tink, 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 tink. And all of a sudden it just loads up and that's the kind of bass that you're gonna catch. You can find these bass a lot of times in hydrilla, in water willow, in millful, on dock pilings, bridges, etc. But guys, that tour grade spinnerbait absolutely is the deal for catching nice bass like this one. Wilson Lake, although small in size, is big in fish size and in numbers. We've caught a ton of fish this morning already, and this just happens to be another one of those great specimens and great big bass here on Wilson Lake. You know, if you're coming to Wilson though, you, and you're not confident in, in catching those bass, there's a really good guide here named Jimmy Mason. You should check him out. Jimmy Mason is a, a longtime friend of mine and a great angler and definitely will put you on these nice bass, whether it's Wilson or Pickwick or Wheeler, that guy has it all. Catches big, giant, smallmouth and nice largemouth like this. So if you're not confident in what you're doing, if you come here, Take a look at Jimmy and I, I know he's gonna take care of you and help you catch these bass. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorenz, America's number one fish finder, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Get our free fishing guide at orangebeach.com. Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor. The tour is back.
Blazer, high performance boats for high performance anglers. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at the size of that one. Oh my God. Oh, that's another good one. Whoo! Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. The Thunder Cricket delivers again. Hey, real quick, guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Thunder Cricket and exactly what I do to make this thing work. As you can tell, this is a white and chartreuse with a white blade. I really like that white blade, but it's not just about the Thunder Cricket. It's about the setup, and that, and I think that's what makes this so crucial. You need a fast reel, a seven five to one gear ratio reel. You got to be able to catch up fast because these fish will knock slack in your line, makes it really hard. If you, it, it, and it really a lot of it depends on your size and how tall you are. If you're a shorter person, a shorter rod is necessary, like a six ten, a six six where you can actually skip that thunder cricket or swim jig around those docks. In this case, I'm using the seven foot mag bash rod one. It's a seven foot medium heavy, super basic rod. Any seven foot medium heavy will work. I just like the mag bash rod. It loads well, has a good tip, and I can be extremely accurate when roll casting around these docks. For the three eighths and half ounce thunder cricket, I always use 15 pound tour grade fluorocarbon. That 15 pound gets the job done. I can land bass like this one and it allows that bait to stay further down in the water than using big fluorocarbon line. And that is a big key is having the ability for that line to sink down where I can catch bass like this. nice one on the popper check that out guys you know it's late in the even evening right now and that is one of the best times to tie on a top water you know in this case i go with the kvd splash it just is a really good all-around popper this is the smaller size one this is the one i turn to when the bait's really small and right now the bait fish are really really small they're like two inches long and that's when I go that popper and I'm, I'm working it fast. I tie a little loop knot on it. And on Wilson, these bass really like to eat on top. They're, they're shad eaters. They eat a lot of shad throughout the year. And just not a really big fish, but a really nice one. You know, and that's what you're gonna get here. It's a lot of really nice, solid fish, a lot of bites. We've had a ton of bites today. And uh, you know, just another nice Wilson Lake bass. Oh, oh man, that's the one we need to end the day. How big is this fish? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, he's got a face full of KVD splash right now. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Look at the size of that one. Oh my God. I thought we, did you see how easy that came out? Guys, this is what I'm talking about, adapting to the day. So this morning, it was cloudy, overcast. As the day went on, it got super sunny and the fishing got kind of tough. Today, we really adapted. We went to the KVD splash at the end of the day. You know, the cool thing about, you know, the evening time is my favorite time to fish. This is when we catch them on popping baits, you know, pop bars, walking baits like a sexy dog you can load the boat this time of year with these nice bass and you know it's a, the fun thing is with that kvd splash the small one you can take a kid fishing and y'all can have a blast but wilson lake showed out today man what a great bass let's get the th this thing back and uh we're just going head on in let's go eat some dinner <laughs> that's a better one there Oh yeah. Ooh. 
It got me into the dock. <laughs> Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors, making it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Power Pole, total boat control. Visit Mississippi, good times are close by. Low Boats, 50 years of boating craftsmanship. Balls Out, made in the USA, heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. So glad to have you back with us. It is time now for the Ask the Pro question. This week, Scott would like to know, what is your all-time favorite lure color to fish? For an answer, we asked Bassmaster Elite Angler Drew Benton. My favorite lure color to fish is something natural, and I'll go even more in depth, green pumpkin, okay? I think you can ask any one of you know, these professional anglers in here, and they'll say green pumpkin in, but it's for a few reasons, but just to name a few, Every bait fish or forage, whether it be a crawfish, uh, a shad, a bluegill, a perch, anything a bass eats has that green pumpkin or olive uh, shade to it. And that's just a good all around color. Um, anywhere you go, you can have that color tied on and you can imitate anything that swims that a bass will eat. So any kind of natural color green pumpkin is, is what I would go with. Thank you, Drew. If you have a question for one of the pros, just go to our website. That's letsfishtv.com. Click on the Ask the Pro link and send it in. Now let's check out the latest Big Catch of the Week winner. It's time for this week's winner in the Big Catch of the Week contest. This week's winner is... Tyler Mayville of Roswell, Georgia with a 15-pound striped bass he caught at Lake Lanier in Georgia. Here's today's Right Stuff, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Here's the gear that you need to catch more bass out on Wilson Lake. You know, the deal is, as y'all know, I like to throw a Thunder Cricket. White and Sartreuse is the color I go for. You know, the one thing about the, the Thunder Cricket that I think is probably one of the most crucial things is the retrieve. You want to really flutter that retrieve, not just reel it in direct. Throw that on 15 pound tour grade fluorocarbon, a 75 to 1 hyper mag, and a 7 foot medium heavy rod. You know, the other thing that I caught a few fish on was the new tour grade spinner bait by Strike King. This is a high end thin wire spinner bait. It definitely gets the call and definitely puts big bass in the boat. Once again, a 75 to 1 gear ratio reel. I go to a little bit shorter rod when roll casting the spinner bait, a 611 uh, custom light. 17 pound line on that and then last but absolutely not least this evening we caught quite a few on the popper man the popper definitely shined this is one of my favorite ways to catch them this is the kvd splash junior this is one of the best top waters out there as you can tell here i have a leader a 17 pound mono leader short leader on braided line i think that is absolutely necessary because you get that non-stretch from the braid but you also get that great hookup ratio from having no stretch. So that's what you need the next time you're out here on Wilson Lake. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode on Let's Fish TV. Barry's back next week. I hope you learned how to find and catch him here on Wilson Lake. Until next time, I'll see you on the water.